And hello again and welcome to what will be vlog number two in Jeff's workshop. Here we have yet another Kawasaki sort of case that's being worked on and the head's there, no great difference there. And my cup of tea of course and then something a bit more interesting, some cylinders. There's a standard one and one that's not standard. No, now, that's not a standard one. That's oh, is it not? That's 1260. 1260. Okay, you started life as a standard it, It's one. a standard block, yeah. Yeah, but it's been, been bored, bored out. out to it's very rusty, though. It needs a bit of work, It's been... It's... Well. Well. Yeah. It we wants opening out to the suit the pistons. And okay, okay. But more interestingly, even enough, next to my cup of tea here, is something a bit different. It's a billet block, which looks like it's been anodized red for some reason, back in the day. So let's just move the camera, and we can look at it in some detail. So let me grab my cup of tea, get it out of the way, and we can look at this billet block, no doubt made for a drag bike at some point. And I think it was on a drag bike at some point in the past. Hence why it's red. Yeah. Not. So where's it from? Uh, it was acquired, funnily enough, I think it was on a you deal know? off eBay. Oh, I the guy had, had my frame and bits and pieces. Oh yeah, he had this too. And I think he, he actually had it up for sale and we bought it and I had other bits and we did a deal. Did a deal, did a deal. Bits. Swaps, no cash. But so it is extremely heavy. It's a 1327 Oh geez, block. it is heavy. What's it made yeah. from? It's not just It's a, aluminium. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure of the grade, but I would imagine it's a very top, dense, a very top quality yeah. material. So, you can, yeah, you can see there, look. The liners are very, very thick. I've just actually just opened the crankcases out to suit. Oh, that's what we got here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, is this going to get used then? You're going to use it on an engine? Uh, we could use it. We'll could, go, could, we'll, or will? Maybe, it's possible. possible. But my, what I was going to do, let me turn it that way. Yeah. Is I was working out the distances. Okay, okay let's just spin it around so we can see uh -huh. what's going on. Yeah. With the camera. And because of the gauge of it there, I was going to mill maybe four. 10 mil slots. Oh, you're going to slot it, yeah. Um, I'd like to get the red off it. Yeah. Because it just. Well, I know what you're doing, yeah. Use caustic yeah. soda. Or baking soda. Kitchen. Um, what are we? Cooker cleaner. Yeah. That will get it all off. So I'd like to go in as. As far as you can. Yeah. Without, I don't want to break through to the studs. No, but no. go in and try and get a little bit more weight, weight off, off it. Yeah, no. So just add a bit of. And, and, and make it visual, look a little uh, bit more. Appeal, yeah. Um, yeah, big block of uh, red alloy doesn't look too good to me. Very dated, I think, isn't it? Very 80s. So anyway, so there's a little is job. It Bob Brooks? Was Bob Brooks. Bob, oh, yes, Bob Brooks. Yeah. Off is it an old comp bike? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Bob. Yeah. I, think I talked to him once on uh, a forum. So there's his old block, which may or may not one day be used on what the spares bike. Well, we have pistons. We got some pistons. That's always a good start. Uh, but they're very high comp. Yeah. Yeah. Which so is you can't reuse really them on a long bike. Well. So. Well, you can, but you get pre ignition problems, but anyway. People have said I've used high comp, people say I use low comp. Yeah, There's yeah. so many different points of yeah, view yeah, yeah. in the racing okay. game. Okay, well, there's only one way to find out, has to yeah. do it and see if it blows up or not. Uh, anyway, Listen so. Listen to everybody and make your own mind yes, up. Yeah, so <laughs> that's uh, something we might see again when Jeff's machined and milled in some uh, grooves in this thing and lost some weight from it. And then, as I say, next to it is. This old rusty thing here. Let's just move that over just... there. And uh, yeah, those, those that's those a bolts. job. That was a job for that's a job for Henry. All oh, right, straight for Henry. Yeah, it, I've I've opened the cases out to suit a 1260 block, so I just thought I better make sure it it all fits. It fits. Yeah. Okay, so so we're having that. Did you say that's for his? Uh, he's, he's doing some sort of. Uh, he's building a Eddie Lawson rep. Eddie Lawson rep, but he's got a 1260. Big kit kit. to go on it. Yeah, which means obviously the yeah so cases have to be widened out. I've just bored them out to. You know, yeah, yeah, to suit. to suit. Okay, so I'll take as well, you know, what it needs. Off. Well, I look forward to seeing that bike when it's done. I'm sure Henry will come round and show it us one day. Okay, and let's see what else is going on in your workshop on this very hot day. Okay, so having talked about widening out those cases for a Kawasaki, here we have a Honda case having the same treatment off my little baby. Off your little baby, yeah. This well, is, from this, this is for your um. Honda drag bike from the back days, in the days, from yeah. the late 70s, early 80s, yeah. which you bought back. And so what's happening here, Jeff? You're going to widen out these... Well, we've got to open these... Holes, effectively. Uh, crankcase mouths out. Yeah. Uh, we've made a billet block. Yes. Uh, we can actually... We saw that well, last time, didn't we? We could take 
because the limit for the class now is 400 they've yes, gone to, yes. uh, we might as well make advantage of it. And go to um, 400 or 399. We could, we could actually take it to about 440, 450, but then you're in the 500 class. class. And you're going to get so, beaten by everything, yeah. So. Uh, and to get it out, one of these out to 500, you just turn it's it into work. a hand grenade. So, yeah, yeah. so um, you're going to go for 400. So what we've got to do is open the crankcase mouths out. We've made a... We've, we've, We've done something that Honda wouldn't approve of, and that's modifying the what? cases. Oh yeah. Well, who cares? With a slightly stroke crank in it. Yeah. And uh, a bit of machining that I'm not going to reveal yet. No. Top secret. We've got it out to 400. Okay. Uh, so what we've got to do now is open the crankcase mouths out. We've had these cylinder studs made in. Yeah. En, I think En24. Yeah. Uh, so they've got to be opened out to okay, 10. So obviously that's a lot thicker than standard. That, they're studs. only 8 mil standard. And that's uh, what, 10? That's 10. Okay, so, so we'll widen out these. What we've got to do is find out, we've, I've got to find my dates and points and then I can... Drill them out? Open all the, them. re-thread yeah. them to 10. Yeah. Uh, and then obviously bore the crankcase mouths yeah. out and yeah. then that's done. And what's interesting is you're sitting this thing on a tilting table here, which you got from some time ago. I think someone was about to throw it in the scrap. Oh, right, right, yeah, 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 big old thing. Yeah. And it's dead hand in it, because you can tilt a big, heavy crankcase and get the angle you need. So, it it's might be old, it, it's it might be old yeah. but it's uh, very handy. It's ideal, but what I found with the Kawasaki case is because it sits so high up, Yeah. if you try and bore very, very fast, it can actually move, it actually... Rocks it, a bit. Because you lift... You have to bore things on a very slow... You know, speed, speed, yeah. Yeah. which, which that's not a bad thing, anyway. Yeah. But the, it's an ideal piece of equipment. That yeah. I basically yeah, it looks got it for free. It, it's a bit battered, but it works. So it's can't argue with that. It's actually, I mean, it suits these quite well. It fits nice oh, on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay, it, so people can put things on milling beds and then they can clamp and put clamps on, but mm -hmm. this is properly bolted and it's going nowhere. It's got, you know. Yeah. Okay, so. Top day today, so we'll end it there. We'll come back in a few days' time and see how it looks with your billet block on top of it. So I look forward to that. We have our Kawasaki Conrods. Well, Proto Conrod, the beginning of a Conrod, beginning which of we Conrod. mentioned in a previous episode, which I think was episode number 15 of your Spares Bike Drag Bike Project build some, from some time ago. And now you're making some progress. You've um, line drilled out the rough shape of the Conrod in your what's that about an inch thick is it? It's, it is one inch thick. Yeah. One inch thick. It's got to be skimmed down, but that that's yeah, the, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. you've drilled it Second and minute. using those holes as sort of markers uh, to date and uh, points. Yeah, yeah. There's two to machine the, mandrels to go through the two date and point holes. Yeah, yeah. So you know it's straight. Yeah. And now With you've a got your lock up there, so every one that you put in will be the same. It, well, hopefully, it's hopefully within a thou or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, using your old Elliot thousand year old. Noah, yeah, I, think, I think Noah dropped it off, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, at one yeah. point. Yeah, off the arc, yeah. yeah. So we'll fire it up and let's see. We'll fire it up, we've got our thingy on. We've got our thingy like that, and... Yeah. Off we go, making some chippings. We have to uh, make a bit of a... So we know when it hits that lock stop, you've got to stop. It's, so a pretty, it's crude with a G clamp with it. Well, oh. It was all we could do at the time. It works. If it works, it'll work. Yeah. There's a lock stop, a G clamp, and a bit of a material there on the bed. Now it's a bit of stop. Okay, so we'll stop there. And now we'll wind it back and do the other side. It patters a little bit, but it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to do another final cut yet. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's a sort of general process. So how long do you think it'll take you to do each one of these? I mean, oh god, I'll be, I'll be here all probably the next few days. Few days, yeah, because it's all done by hand. We, we can show... Yeah, 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 you've already done one or two already, so... We'll just, we'll just wedge this down, this yeah. one down. Okay, so we'll leave in with that, and we'll go look at uh, one or two that have already been finished. Okay, Jeff, so right. you've got a little break from all that milling, and here's some you prepared earlier. 
and you've got two there, in fact you've got four there altogether now. We've ramped off the uh, the excess. Yeah. We've got to set them up again once I've got them to, to you know, within, I think that's to within at least 40 thou a millimetre. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, obviously once we polish that joint up, the next job is to uh, to bore them, obviously to the correct the correct size there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then we've got to curve them. I'm going to actually put a flat on each of them. Yeah. Because uh, we've got to set them up in a mandrel as well and mill round them. Yeah. But the, the the most difficult job, we can get a curve on on that there. Mm -hmm. Everything on it, it all has to have curves on it because course, if yeah. you leave if you leave sharp edges, it's prone it's, to snap breaking. Yes, it, yeah, it can, yeah, it's, it's, got, it's got a fracture point. This is a pressure point. Yeah. yeah. So. Up to there, I can put a I can put a radius on it, but that last little curve there, yeah, I'll have to try and set it up in the rotary table at the correct angle and just to, it whiz, to whiz it, yeah, you know. Yeah. Okay, and, and just and not forgetting then, because we the the small end's going to be uh, bronze, bronze bush, whereas the big end, as we've mentioned before, we've you're going to take we're going to machine the old conrod to press inside. Yes, that's right. So there's four of them there, but also here I see another four, another four, another four. Another four. Another four, yeah. So we know these are for a spares bike. So what are all these for? Well, just I thought I'll build it if in the future I can build a couple of all right. cranks okay. up. And if anyone wants a set. Okay. So as usual, once you've set up to do one, you may as well do but ten you, or twelve. Once you've got set up, it, it's you know it, mm -hmm. depending on uh, okay. but, material and what. But obviously, yeah. there's a lot more stages yet because we're just starting the, the, shaping this. So uh, yeah. I mean, but anyway, it shows roughly the progress to date. And once, uh, once they're done as well, I can. I mean, you can. Go into there and put a groove. Yes, yes, of course. A ball yeah. slot in there that probably will go in. Maybe. Oh, oops. That deep. Look. Maybe that deep. Oh, right, I'm so surprising. it leaves. Yeah, just to lose some weight. It, you can get some weight out of it in there. So they call it like a H section oh, rod. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah I, I mean, if it might, goes yeah. in, say, I mean, if that's inch and a half wide, if you go in half inch each side. You've got plenty of meat on it, haven't you? It, it takes some weight off it, and and you're not really reducing any major strength uh, okay. you know, okay and I also notice this here red anodized big block which you've got off an old drag bike is that going to be used on the spares bike or not it's it might be is that possible, still a bit possible it's possible yeah but not red we might okay well we've mentioned it last week where you were talking about m milling in some grooves in it and just take well i've got the vice on yeah i want to mill mill some slots yeah, in it so yeah. get get it, yeah and get, to get some red. weight off it as well yeah, and i'd yeah. like to get it down to silver so it's oh we can do that we can silver do that. block yeah i think uh kitchen cleaner will do that for you i did an experiment and it's on the youtube or many hours of wet and dry no 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 don't use wet and dry on it you use the caustic soda solution but do it outside because the fumes that come off oh, this thing are horrible terrible, you just, yeah. l just leave it and let it do its thing okay that's good and um the next thing is we were looking at your honda crankcases a few days ago mm -hmm. on the uh, other miller when you were widening out the uh, they're all done oh, they're all done so let's look at that next okay so now here we are in your real shed rather than the other shed this your yeah. sort of man cave man cave yeah where you keep various, various bits the and honda. Bobs, the honda so this was on your other miller last week mm -hmm. when you were machining out the bores Crankcase mouths have been yeah. done. Yeah, so the, this was rig well, this originally was going to be a 250, I believe, and now it's going to be a. It originally was a 250. Yeah. Yeah. I think these are C, uh, C, yeah, 72. C72. C72. E. E. Okay, so they'd now be machined out, and also, you, hopefully you can see that, you also machine flats on these yeah. engine mounts because they were never really flat to begin I've, with. What I've done there, I, ju I just put a bit of marking in because it left such a sharp edge yeah. on them. I can't. It's left a little bit there. Mm -hmm. I just got the actual flat wheel in just to smooth yeah, it in. Yeah. But the, all them faces now are machined. And what we have done, because when it goes together, we've yeah. got spaces. these spaces. They've just been made yeah. a fraction bigger at the minute. When yeah. I come to build it, what I just need to do, bit, yeah. they'll have to just go in lathe, keep measuring, and just polishing them down. To, I want that to tap between tap them. Just, really just, like, just a soft mallet yeah, yeah. tap fit. Because that's standard. It's yeah. not like that, are they? The, these can be slightly yeah. out, not quite up to them. 90 degrees. Okay, press okay. Start it up. Yeah. So when the engine plate's on, there's the engine plate there, look. The spacer, I can then machine that spacer to suit and mm. then the bolt will actually go in from yeah. there yeah. and thread into that as it mm. will on yeah. the other side. Yeah. Yeah. So everything, I want everything, it's all Tight. spaced and, Tight. you know, made. And also, I think secure. you were machining out these 
sun head bolts. They've been done, we've had our EM24 studs made, okay. which are now, we had to get the, the threads cut so that they're just a nice resistance fit. Yeah. yeah. If, if, if yeah. Uh, I bought a brand new tap to thread them, which was oh. near, I think it was about 18 quid. 18 quid for a tap? For, yeah. yeah. And again, the reason for that is because these are bigger and Definitely stronger than standard. Definitely didn't have made in China no. and all that. <laughs> so what is the standard size for these then? 8 mil. 8 mil. And yep. now it's what, 10? 10. So 10, yeah. so obviously you're a lot stronger. Okay. Uh, a lot, well, some would say it's actually weaker but um, well. because you're removing metal. But what we've actually done on here is we've moved, rather than boring this, our little secret, which oh, is yes. no longer a secret, yeah. we've, well, actually, haven't it we've, actually moved, we've actually moved the hole. Because they're not in the middle. No. Whether Honda made a balls up or not when no. they made them, I don't know. So you told uh, it. So we've actually moved the, them in the middle, and what we've got to do now is bore the crank cases and adjust the crank to suit. Oh right, okay, that seems so like a work. It's it's easy work, but it's that you have to You've have got everything to be set up right. Very accurate, yeah. It's got. Well, for the four mil you're going that way, you've got to go more that way because yeah. they're on two different angles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's about four, four point. 4.5 to 5 mil we've okay. got to go that way. Okay, so that's quite a lot of work there. And um, plus the engine plates have to be then modified. Oh yeah. Well, well you like them obviously, work for obviously we've got the engine plate there, so they're gonna to have to be bolted yeah, on and that's gonna to have to be adjusted to whatever the, 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 new, the new position is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Which it's all easy work, but very time consuming. Time consuming. Okay, and then in the background, I'm not sure if it'll pick it up okay or not, because it's the, the light is behind us, is a uh, cylinder head, your inlet manifold. For the supercharger, which you made quite a while ago, and also you've got your header studs on there, the little stubby. Oh, they, yeah. they're, they're ready for the pipes to be they're welded ready. on, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and um, anything else we can see on here that you've been mm -hmm. busy with? We, do, we we have had a new plan. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. Not my well, plan, your plan. What it is, you go on and you find a set of piston rings. Yeah. It's nearly, f I think, over 40 quid for a set of piston rings. Yeah. Now, and what are these, these are pistons these? are used, these are out of a t Kawasaki Turbo. Oh dear, what we got for yeah. the chap in um, North I've, I've been hunting high and low on the uh, interweb, e uh, interweb yeah. and found some Wiseco 66mm pistons, okay. forged. Forged, that's forged, nice. Forged. That was nice. That are 80 yeah. something dollars each, mm -hmm. obviously with postage oh, yeah, on. They, they, they work out about £100 okay. each. Okay, that's not bad. For a brand new piston. Yeah. So, the alternative is to go and get the, well, the forged rather pistons. Than risk these, well, well, I mean the cost of the, the, the rings. To be honest, I thought I could find some reasonable rings and all these, but, but find, I've seen finding a, a set of brand new piston rings. They're charging thirty and forty quid a set. Yeah, yeah. So, so I thought a, it's a lot of work to start modifying them pistons which have been used when you yes. can just buy a brand new. Yeah, yeah. But item. Then, these were actually given to us in a big box of uh, used piston rings from a chap who runs a turbo Kawasaki Unf 750. Yeah. But, but unfortunately, I mean, it's it seems, it seems cheaper to buy new ones than it is to modify these and get the rings. Yeah, it, okay. it, I mean, if someone had a box of piston rings there now and they said, "Hey, you can have that lot for oh, a yeah. tenner," you, you, it's worth having okay. a go and modify. Well, you know me, I just prefer to go new, but yeah. uh, that well, can be quite expensive. Plus, they're only a 15 mil good jump in as well, where they're 16, right, so, so it, it was good. Yeah, yeah. Less, so, have you ordered them, or you're not going to? Not yet. Uh, not yet. I've okay. got to earn some more. Okay. Money. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. <laughs> I've either got to sell something or, <laughs> sell something or <laughs> earn something, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh well, I've probably got too, find too many rich, bloody. Find some rich woman who'll marry me. Oh, and well, good luck with that, mate. Pay for everything. Good luck with that. <laughs> right, okay, on that score, have we got anything else in here? We've got lots and lots of crank pieces and bits and bobs. So. We've got the original crank there. Yeah. We're, uh, we're the, we've got our hardened pins on. Right. I think we've mentioned about yes, that. Yeah, that was from quite yeah. a while ago, about a year ago, yeah. I think it's been waiting. We've got, we've got some standard Kawasaki head nuts. Okay. Which, uh, obviously, for this, hey, it's only 400, they, they'll do perfect for, All right. for them. Okay, because now they're the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, good stuff. And uh, so, so we'll call that um, finish now. Anything else going on at the moment? Um, You've been busy apart from working on stuff for me. Apart from doing the important things bits for me. And pieces, we've yeah. found a few bits of crank there because yeah. if I do a couple of cranks, I'll, you may as well do. Uh, you may as well do a, a, few, a few for when the first one breaks. I'm going to machine a couple more of them up. Yeah. In the steel I've got, but yeah. then I've got to get them hardened. Yeah. And the idea is, I've got to build a crank to this level, mm -hmm. and then you've got to press them on because you, 
you can't put them on the crank web and then press it on and get it welded because you've only got to, you'd only have to catch it with yeah, a weld yeah, or the yeah, TIG or and you've destroyed so but if I press them on once the ground they're gonna need grinding and then you the problem is you built your crank and you don't want to get be then getting grinding dust Just on your bearings it's, yeah, so it's a hell of a catch oh, 22 okay, okay well we'll cross so, that bridge when we come to it or rather you will um, cross that bridge when you and if it. it's got holes in it there if you tape all that up in there you've got a hole in there that dust can get in yeah, so course, yeah it's not you, easy. you're in um a difficult position pretty much or the only other thing is is to actually get them pressed on okay because i think what you can do is yeah they, they're not they don't interfere that much mm -hmm. is to fit them on and then just weld about three quarters of the journal all right okay that's well, probably going to be i think that's how i did that okay okay well you're out shot there i can't really see oh. but um okay so let's, uh, let's yeah, well, put down there and if and for people who don't know what one we're talking about, let me just refocus a second because. Uh, okay, Jeff. So for people who don't know what we're talking about here, what is the point of putting this additional sleeve on your crankshaft? So we can actually use these Honda 500T Conrods, All right, okay. which are very very strong compared to the CB72. Okay. The big end is probably one of the biggest big roller yeah, big ends I've exactly seen. There. Yeah, yeah, so that will uh, go on there. That well, with the bearing in, yeah, the bearing? cage bearing in. But we've had these special uh, bushes, or bushes hard, the hardened steel yeah. that were machined up, hardened and then ground. It's just that one of them's now, because I, I sold the bike and got it back, mm -hmm. when I stripped the crank down, it had a lot of rust on it. Oh, right, okay. It had been left, and, and by the time I cleaned it with some wet and dry, I built the big end, there was about two or three oh, thousand. Oh, that's too much, yeah. 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 It, 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 well, again, it was 20 years ago, so. It was 20, yeah. So what okay. we've got to do now is make. Some more. Some more. And how are they held in place? Are they uh, they're just sweated on? They're just pressed on. Pressed on, yeah. the, that, the thing is, what you've got to do is press them on, so they're tight, mm -hmm. and then, if you machine it to size and then press it on, it'll go bigger. Yeah. Uh, or you could take the chance, make them, get them hardened and ground, press them on so that when it expands that it just... It stays there. It, that that would be oh, well. trial and error. Yes, well, uh, error being bang. Yeah. Plus, uh, if we press them on after we build the crank, once they're done, we've then got a weld. Yeah, the, you, um, yeah you were saying you can't really do a full weld because it's in the way. You've got to do a, mm. a three quarts weld. Anyway, okay, so that's the story of the but it will get Honda 400 supercharged twin from your original drag bike from the 80s that you're now restoring stroke rebuilding very slow process because there's no money involved in it and uh, you haven't got any but we're getting there slowly or you're getting there slowly in between doing stuff for me yay that's yay. Space making right now so with that we'll call that the end of your vlog number two vlog and now it's time for tea, tea. okay so thanks for watching oh. and cheers